It's beer o'clock on Reload Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer called Hobbling Shoof and it's a Dublin IPA triple. It is from Brasserie Dia Shoof in Belgium. And as you might see, look at all that yeast suspension in the bottle. This is going to be a cracking beer at 9% ABV. There's a look at the bottle cap. Let's get this beer out into a glass then and see what we get. Whoa! Loads, of, look at that smoke. Look at that, it's still coming. Look at that. Wow, wow, wow. So beer in the glass, I'm gonna get all that yeast in. It's suspended in the in the bottle anyway, so I'm not going to be able to kind of hide any of it away. But being a Belgian beer, you do get all that yeast in anyway. Um, I'll let this beer dissipate a little bit, and then get that last bit of yeast in the in the in the glass. But there we go, beer in the glass. Then look at the yeast suspension. Look at all that lovely lovely Belgium that's going on in the glass. That's fantastic. Uh, golden coloured ale, kind of straw coloured. It's a three finger white head. Let's get the aroma on the beer then. <laughs> wow. European hops and at 9% it's a big bold beer. Loads of what are we picking up? It's, it's that certain Belgium dryness, that little bit of white pepper, that little bit of spice in the beer that really kicks things along. It's like lemon curd I'm picking up in the aroma. Sweet, dry, but peppery. What a wonderful aroma. Let's dive in, cheers. Oh yeah, wow. It's bitter, but it's peppery. And then it's really bitter on the back end, really nice stuff. Lemon peel, lemon curd, maybe a bit of nectarine peel thrown in for good measure. It's fleshy, blood orange, it's fruity. It's candied fruit as well. It's that typical Belgium back end of the IPA, if you know what I mean. It's, it's, it's driven by the yeast on the back end, so you've got all of them hops that's, that's been added to the beer. That kind of tails away and dies away a bit in the flavour. And then that yeast, that yeast of the ester comes through on the back end. And that's a different type of, of fruity flavour. As I mentioned, that's like a sweet kind of candied fruit. It's a mind-blowing beer, this, I've got to be honest. Lovely and sweet, lovely and bitter. A little bit bready, a little bit biscuity. It's fantastic, absolutely fantastic. Let's get the rest of that lovely Belgiumness in the in the glass. So an IPA triple from Belgium. Uh, excellent stuff. I, I, oh, it might actually be. Let me hold you the label so you've got something to look at while I. Oh, I was only going to say ingredients. Brew water, barley, malt, sugars, yeast and hops. So they've added sugars to the beer. That's fine, that's fine. Uh, to get it up to 9% ABV, I mean if, if the brewer knows what he's doing, I, I don't mind a little bit of sugar added to the beer. Um, it's a different process. Some people use uh, lots of malt. The more malt you use, the higher the ABV. And then some people use brewer's sugars. So they use a lot less, well, not a lot less malt, but less malt and then sugar just to get that sweetness. And I talked about the sweetness in this beer to begin with. I 
And I think that's where that kind of candied fruit comes in, that little bit of kind of lovely sweetness and, and that pepperiness on the back end. Again, it's a lovely beer. Check it out. I think I paid about £2.50 for this. Unbelievable price for such a cracking little beer. It's in a 330. It goes off in 2016. Uh, beer, the 9th as well, September 2016. So it's only, where are we? April 2015. So we've got a good 18 months left on this beer before it decides to go off on us. And and to be honest, when I say go off, you could drink the beer after that. It's just it would all of the hops would have died away. But it would have aged quite well in a very different way. So, rating for Hoblin Schuf, a Dublin IPA triple at 9% ABV. It's lovely. It's a really nice, bright, refreshing beer for 9% ABV. I've talked about the flavours, I won't go back into that. But I'm just going to rate it. I'm going to rate it, this lovely little glass of beer. I really like it, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. It's a 9 out of 10 from me, Little Craft Beer. Put your comments in the comments box. Please subscribe to our daily beer reviews and cheers.